What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today we're going to be talking about guilds, but specifically guilds in Castle Clash and what it's missing. To this day, there are some fundamental things that are missing from guilds in Castle Clash and it really hampers it down. Now guilds is one of the biggest things in the game because without a guild, you can't do guild wars, you can't do fortress feud, you can't do church battles, you can't do bosses. So you need a, a good guild to be in to be able to do all of those things, but what are these guilds missing? Now there's a few things that I think can easily be put into the game, but have been missing for as long as I remember. Okay, now the first thing is a guild a guild pop-up as you log into the game. Yes, you can come here and you go to the guild hub and you can have a guild notice, which by the way, we are recruiting. So if you're looking for a guild, there you go. Contact Almighty and we can get you in. But how many players actually go here and go to the guild notice to actually look at any specific message on a daily basis? Nobody. Now, here's what you can do. When you log into the game, you can pop up something like this. And this is, a, this is an example from Lords Mobile and their mailing system. If a player logs in in your guild, as a guild leader, I would love to be able to send out a message that everybody would be able to see as they log in. I mean, if it's Guild Wars Day, hey, don't forget to do your Guild Wars. If it's Torch Battles, hey, don't forget Torch Battles today at so-and-so you know, etc. as a guild notice. But also, I would like to be able to send mail to specific people. We have a mail system right here, mailbox. The only problem is, is the only mail we get is from events. Can we actually get mail, like actual mail? That would be amazing. And I feel like that would elevate guilds and communication in a guild so much more because if you're not using line chat or anything like that at this moment, you're probably not really getting to know anybody in the guild. Now, the other big thing is the chat. The chat, the, this has been tweaked, and to this day, it's still not good. It's just not good. Let's, I'll give you an example of the main thing that it's missing. So if you go over to my guild right now, you see that there's some, there's some, um, some somebody talking. Need Ice, Tree, and Valentina, I'm Tank. I can ice and tree. So more than likely they're talking about a lava group. Lava 4, lava 3, whatever, right? So that's great. But the only reason I know that <laughs> is because I'm logged in. What happens if I log out? Okay, let's let's log out and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. Okay, so here we go. We're loading up the game. We literally just closed the game out. We're loading it back on. We saw the conversation that they were having. And the only reason we knew that they were talking is because we were online. But as soon as you log off, or as soon as somebody that was logged off logs in, guess what? Absolutely no recent history. Now you see what they have, what they're saying now, because you're online now. But you have no idea what they said previous to that. Why can't we have an actual guild chat history? Because if you log in and you can see a chat history of what w people were talking about, if they were looking for a group and all that, and you can jump in and be like, hey, yeah, I'm on now. I can go ahead and help. But if you log in and somebody was looking for a team and then they don't say anything after that, you have no idea that they were looking for a team. So a chat history would go a long way. So if we can get guild board notice, a guild board notice as soon as you log in that's that gives a specific message from the guild leader or the vice leaders whatever that they can update as soon as whenever they want you know if guild wars day you can post that whatever is going on in the guild you can post that and you can change and whenever you log in you get that message and then you can just exit it out because i mean when you get these battle reports we get that popped up in our screen as we log in like hey so and so attacked you so and so attacked you but who really cares about like who really cares like Dwayne Dwayne is Dwayne Dwayne uh, okay do let's just go with Dwayne Dwayne attacked me okay but I don't really care <laughs> like who really cares anymore about who attacked them because your heroes don't die anymore so you don't even feel like pissed at that person because i killed your heroes your resources it's so easy to gather resources now that it's just like whatever 
So who cares? Mailbox, it's useless unless you're getting something from an event. So I feel like they should be able to change some of these things and make an in-mail, in-game mail system that chat to actually keep a history because that'll go a long way to being able to communicate with the guild, seeing what was being said. And by the way, I mean, global, it's another thing. It's it, that's a separate video, but global is so bad. <laughs> I've never seen a, a global chat that's just so limited it it's it's really bad the chat system in castle clash has always been subpar but it has never really been i don't really see them trying to improve it much so i don't know let me know what you guys think are, are missing still from the guilds i think those are the biggest thing the chat history and an actual notice and or in-game mail that you can send directly to other players because i feel like that would actually make communication so much better between guilds between players etc but yeah i'll be looking at the comments to see what you guys think that maybe castle clash and the guilds they don't need another game mode we, we just need things like that that will make it much easier to communicate but yeah appreciate you guys for watching and until later bye